Having lived with depression for over a decade, Rosalind Place is hoping surgery will help her achieve a goal that everyone is deserving of. I want to be able to experience happiness again or joy. I want to be able to feel inspired again. What depression does is um, it saps so much of my energy that just getting through a day becomes really difficult. The future just becomes something that you feel like it's kind of not there. For patients like Rosalind, where other treatments haven't helped regulate mood, the future may lie in this surgery called deep brain stimulation or DBS. The goal is to reach and stimulate circuits in the brain that cause depression. Sunnybrook neurosurgeons use her brain images as a roadmap to insert two electrodes. Rosalind is awake and interactive for part of the surgery to ensure the electrodes hit their mark. Each electrode has four contacts, visible on this x-ray image as the larger black dots, which help pinpoint affected regions in her brain. Once in place, the electrodes will be stimulated by this pacemaker-like device, which is implanted in her chest. Neurosurgeon Dr. Nir Lipsman says this is a Canadian first. We're specifically looking at a, a unique kind of electrode that not only can stimulate the brain, but can record activity from the brain at the same time. And the goal there is to see, can we pick up a signal that is unique for mood disorders, unique to these patients, so that we can tailor the stimulation to them. And this is one of the first uh, times in the world, and the first time in Canada, that we're using these electrodes specifically in patients with depression. After the surgery, patients are asked to follow their moods, meaning things like how they are feeling and when they need activation are all tracked. And then we're able to download that information onto the computer and analyze it and see, can we link the patient's specific brain signature to the way that they were subjectively feeling. This is a huge step forward to personalizing treatment for every patient. Rosalind is hopeful for herself and others like her. I know there's so many other people out there who are in my situation who haven't responded to treatment or haven't been able to sustain a response and who are suffering. And I just hope for some success and, and that with that success, it, it could become more available to people who need it. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.